What's up, Phantoms? It's me, Mr. Dark Knight. And me, Bash of Bash and Brains. And today, we're going to review Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. Yeah. The first match is the Women's Royal Rumble. It's pretty sure. good. Great match. Actually, pretty good for the women. Um, I love it. A bunch, a lot of new like NXT stars are in there. Two NXT stars. Everyone that we normally see for Raw, SmackDown, Natalia, the return of um, Naomi coming yes. back. That was a really big shocker. Um, I remember watching it and it was like, I was like, oh crap, Naomi's here. That's really cool. I love that. Um, you know, the NXT um, stars as well. Um, um, Perez. Perez. Yes. And Tiffany Stratus. Yeah. Great. They did a great job. It's like, I feel like they were there for the whole entire time. They, they fought hard for it. Nia Jax. I like how everyone always tries to throw out Nia Jax or Piper. Yeah. Piper, yeah. I mean, they all, they they all always, get up on her. Always. All, it's always the big people. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to say. Look, I'm just saying how it goes. They do that in the men's They do that too for every. They do it for the men's. And, of course, they're going to do it for the women's. It was really good. I loved it. It was really good. Um, especially with um, Jay Cargo, who was from AEW and now he's in WWE. Throws out Nia Jax out of the ring. That was impressive. All by herself, dude. bro. Yeah, dude, I was. Becky was shocked. Like Becky was shocked. Nikki she... Nia Jax's face, looking back, she was like, <laughs> "Like, bro, like she, what just happened?" Bro, she literally had her in her shoulders. Yeah. Does her move and then gets her and throws her out like nothing, bro. <laughs> Becky's all there and laughing. She's like, Dude. and Nia Jax was like. You could see when she went off to the side, yeah. she was trying to grab the apron yeah. and try to grab the ring, like maybe hopefully she should land on there. Yeah, no. no. She like rings right here. Nia Jax, she's coming down. She's completely far away from the ring. For real. She was already on the ground. It was crazy, bro. It was great match. Um, we got the TNA World Champion, Women's Champion, um, Jordan Grace, Jordan Grace. Great. I go. She she remind me of um Beth Phoenix. Yeah. She yeah. had that Beth Phoenix um style to her. I loved it. I love that on um, that WWE and TNA are working together to do something like that. I think I think it's best for companies, especially for the wrestling company, to like work together. You see that in the indie shows, you see that in AEW with their forbidden door and stuff like that. You see stuff like that. I remember there in the press conference when I was watching the press conference, Triple H made a little nod to it. He's like He's like, yeah, we don't do that for that forbidden door crap thing. Um, it's too stupid. Like, no, no, we, you know, we just want to welcome everyone. Mom. We're a different company now, and we want to welcome people from other companies to work with us. And I think yeah. that's a great thing because you can you can get a lot of things into that. You can get pay per views out of that. You can make it into a video game. Like yeah. how you get the Raw versus SmackDown video yeah. game. You could do Raw. You could do WWE versus TNA. That'd be a cool preview. I would buy that game. I would watch that preview. That sounds really good. Hey, speaking <laughs> of the Women's Royal Rumble, what is it? She, she always, and look, she's got one of the coolest entrances. Shotzi. Oh, Shotzi. Shotzi yeah. with the little tank. The tank, oh yeah. That, that was, was freaking that's... hilarious. It's always hilarious, man. Yeah, Chelsea But she, she, didn't, she, she didn't last that long. No, no, she didn't. Uh, she lasted like a few minutes. Not that long. Yeah. Uh, it always happens. It always happens. Like, Savannah, um, Savannah Vega. Was great like always. She was yeah, great. she was playing. She lasted high. pretty long. She yeah, actually, dude. Surprisingly, she lasted pretty for long. For her height and how small she is, dude, she was really putting uh, in the effort. She was going after Piper. Yeah. And she was going after Nia Jax. I was like, yeah. what? She was great. She was amazing. She hit hard on those things. Chelsea Green. I gave Chelsea Green a lot of props. She was squished <laughs> a bunch of times yes. with Piper and Nia just bumping into her and everything. The way how like um when she knocked out and Piper's picking her up and shaking her in the head like come on come on Chelsea get up and she just falls on the ground and then when they do the flips on her especially yes. when um Piper got Nia and throws her on Chelsea Green that was hilarious dude that made me laugh I started laughing it was funny I loved it but um our winner was Bailey yeah uh, damage control really surprised I I was really surprised that Bailey won. Um, you could tell Bailey was number. I think she was number three. Number three. Number on three. Yeah. Chart. Yeah. yeah. Not. Yeah. She was number three. I think she, she was number three and number four. I might be wrong. I. I might. I'm. If I edit, I. I put it out there. I mean, what number she was on. But did great. She beat it. Um, Rhea Ripley score. Rhea Ripley stayed for like I think an hour and I think thirty minutes something around there. I think she beat. She beat it for like I think it was sixty three minutes and something seconds. So that was really great. You you saw Diamond Control there with um Oscar, um, 
Eos, no, not Eo, um, Kyrie Say, yeah, Eo, um, Asuka and Kyrie Say in there. They got thrown out after, I think, about like the, 10 minutes or something. Not like 10 that. minutes, I think it was like probably like around, I think when they hit number, I think once they hit around number 15 or somewhere around there. 15. Yeah, okay. so they stay pretty good. So a good while. I, I, felt, I, felt, I don't know, it's because I saw the focus moving around. That's Yeah, there was a lot moving around. There yeah. were a lot of bumps and everything. It was really good. I actually really impressed by it. Really good. Um, I, I want to say one of the best women's Royal Rumbles I've seen so far. So that was really good. I liked it. I had a good time watching that. We had a great time with it. Um, the next one is the, is the un- surprising the Undisputed Championship. Roman Reigns, LA Knight, Randy Orton, and AJ Styles for the Undisputed Championship. Surprisingly, that was number two. This is their second match. Surpri- I was really surprised about it when I saw it. I think yeah. you were surprised too when we saw, yeah. when you saw it. You were like, but I can understand because it's Royal Rumble. The, Royal yeah. Rumble. The focus is Royal Rumble. It's so for it's for plus the guy who's gonna main event WrestleMania is in the match, so yeah. it makes sense that they want him to get ready for like the main event to watch. Yeah. So it makes perfect sense. So we got yeah, that match was crazy. They went all out. They went against Roman right away. Yeah, all three of them went out. Yeah, oh, they all they're all like looking at him and they were like they're all dogging him. They're like, let's get him, let's get him. They beat in the crowd. And then I gets out of the ring and he got Roman by the neck with the rope. Yeah, while they're kicking and punching him like AJ AJ and Ronnie, bunch of hits. Um, there was a fell four way, so anything goes. So there was a bunch of tables hitting. Um, bunch of everyone throwing each other from the steps. Um, AJ Styles hitting everyone with chairs. So so cool coming out like always. Oh man, when he came out, I was like, God damn it! That, I wasn't surprised. I was like, oh, Whatever. They're solo. Here we go again. All uh, doing the strikes on them. Randy Warren's doing surprise RKO's. That to the point that um, it, I, I think it was like Ran, I think it was Roman Reigns and LA they're fighting. AJ is going to do his like his hit, a flying hit, pushes LA Knight through the ropes, falls down, AJ hits his throat, you can see it, it was yeah. like boom, AJ goes in, Roman does his super punch, his spear, one, two, three, it was over, like it was like that, it was like down, it was crazy, again the Trevor Chief has won the Universal Championship, um, the Honor Spirit Championship belt, not surprised there, it happens, knew it it's something like that they always do that they want to make roman be stronger i guess because of the how long he been carrying that belt i guess the the main goal is now to beat hulk hogan's long-term championship so that's the goal for them i think that's that's where they're gonna end up doing being hulk hogan's um long reigning championship yeah um belts um long thing so how what you thought about that match and dude general? that was freaking what is it Randy Orton was it when Randy Orton was uh what was it? It was either AJ Styles or it was uh LA Knight. LA Knight was it remember he was throwing him he was putting his pushing his head into the steps. Oh, he was yeah. slamming his head into the Oh that was Roman. That was Roman oh yeah. Remember he, was... he kept telling me that he missed Roman once and then he got him he finally got him the second time. Yeah. Because LA Knight was hitting AJ Styles head on the table a bunch of times and then he hit Randy head a bunch of times and then Randy got him, threw him on the table. Table didn't break. Surprisingly, the table did not yeah, break I'm at all. <laughs> Surprisingly, the table didn't break at all. And these are big dudes, by the way. <laughs> these are big dudes, and I'm like, come on, the table had a break. I like and how I like how fell. I like how Randy Orton was dragging uh, Roman Reigns yeah. around the ring to where the camera was focusing on yeah. the other side. Yeah, he was like, come on, dude, come on, and then he hits his head on the yeah. steps over there. In front of the camera. I feel bad for the camera guys because every time there's like a four way, they have to go back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> it's fun. But it was a great match. I loved it. Um, it was great, like always. Bunch of Hall of Famers, future Hall of Famers in that match. All four of them. It's crazy. It's crazy. All four future Hall of Famers are in that match. It was a great match. I liked it. Yeah. It's very good. Let's see what's going to happen at WrestleMania. Let's see what happens there. Um, our next match is the United States Championship match. It was Kevin Owens versus Logan Paul. I know you like this match. This was probably one yes. of your favorite matches. Of- oh my god! On the line, every time yeah. we watch a preview, every time we watch a preview, and the United States Championship match is in it, better than the last match. Better than the last. Oh match. my god, dude! Oh, is it? Talk about so much fury in this. Okay, I know a lot of people hate on Logan Paul. I'm a fan of Logan Paul, dude. 
This man, he has the moves. He's a high flyer. This is WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment. Mm -hmm. This guy's got the high flying moves. He brings all the moves back from the past. For dude. real, bro. Yeah, he did HBK. Yes. Eddie Guerrero. Um, he did. Um, what else was that other one? He did another legend. Sometimes he does um um Macho Man. Sometimes he even does um Hulk Hogan. He even did Hulk Hogan. The, the leg drop. Yeah, the leg drop with Hulk Hogan. He did that one. He he hits all the moves, bro. Like you gotta get Logan Paul props, bro. I don't know who can like take those damages. He was bleeding a lot. Like he was bleeding from the chest, the nose, like everywhere, bro. I was like, fuck, bro. I just imagine how he is after the match. He's all fuck, he's all sore and everything. But yeah, Kevin Kevin Owens, he went straight to it. He he when they were gonna start with Samantha saying the announcement. I like when Kevin always always sits in the the top buckle, and he's just sitting there. He's all like focused. He's all like. Like, I'm just ready. He's like, I'm not moving around. He's like, focus. Then once that bell came, he went right at him. Boom, boom, boom. Spots everywhere. Out of the ring, in the ring. Everywhere, bro. Logan Paul, when, um, I think when Kevin Owens was in the tongue buckle, Logan Paul was up and he's told Cody Graves, he's like, you said that no one can, no one can, um, Sam, um, Owens off the, off the turnbuckle, but this is my chance, and then it's right. Yeah, he wasted time on that. When he did that, Bro. he wasted the time because he could have gone and done it, slammed him into the into the mat. Yeah. But instead, he went ahead. He's like, no. He looks at, at Graves. He's like, no, no. I'm. I was like, nobody said. Like you said, nobody can get Owens down on the, you know, from the, the turn turn turn. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you wasted time. Bro. Because by that time, Kevin Owens <laughs> snapped back. He threw him off already, yep. and then did, he was trying to do a swanton bomb, yep. but Logan got his knees, you know the knees, backstabbed him in the back, and then that's when he did his own swan. He did Jeff Hardy's, you know, he got the, the hands yes, in the back. Yes, oh, I love that, dude. Jeff Hardy, too. There you go, Jeff Hardy. Now, now I remember what moves he was doing. Yeah, Jeff Hardy, too. Dude, I thought, so when I thought, I thought he did a frog splash, and then he corrected me, and you were like, no, 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 that. No, that's one of Jeff Hardy's. You're like, that's Jeff Hardy's dude. Move. I just forgot the move, but it's it's a name. But it's always like when he has his hands in the back and he looks he, like he's swimming, and he got he it. He in, went right. Cool. He look, he looked like a jet. He looked yes, like a jet dude. But then, um, Kevin Owen um kicks out of it. Then one of um Logan Paul's rookies, of course, his gooms. I always call him his gooms. Comes out. And that's his fault, bro. He should have timed it. Wasn't it Austin Theory? No, that's later on. One of his goons from his YouTube thing was there. I think it was one of his friends. Oh, yeah. He comes, That was on him. He timed it wrong because the ref literally saw him jumping off, ready to get him it. And to the ref, was like, no, no, no. He's like, he told one of the security guys, no, no, get him out of here, get him out. That's when Austin Theory and, um, and, and Grayson Water came. They're like, come on. But Austin Three had it on his. I think he was still wearing. I think he was wearing his trunks, and he had it. He took it out of his trunk. He he slid it. But then Logan Paul was trying to get it. Kevin Owens stuns him with the stunner. Yep. Grabs the grabs the Ooh, brass the knuckles. brass knuckles. Punches him hard, bro. Hard in the face. And then he still has the brass knuckles on his hands. And when they're pinning one, two, the ref. The ref sees, sees the brass knuckles. I was like, no. Oh. It was over. It was, I was like, dude. It was crazy. And the, the thing is, what pissed off everybody in that in that match was you could hear the ring. You could hear everybody in the audience yeah. booing. Because it was uh, disqualification. Was it basically Logan Paul won by disqualification. Yeah. I was like, that was BS, yeah. bro. That it was, was full on BS. Yeah, I hope, like, fuck, man. I was disappointed on that. I was like, but we are going to get a Logan Paul an United States Championship match at WrestleMania. Well, I think we might get one at um, Elimination Chamber that's coming out February 24th. It depends what happens. Let's see yeah. what happens. I doubt they're going to have an Elimination Chamber. I guess they're just going to save him to WrestleMania. That makes perfect sense to, to just have the belt. At, have Logan Paul be at WrestleMania for it. Makes yeah. perfect sense to do that if they change, if anything changes. But what do you think about that match in general? Of it? What do you think oh about it? It was God. great. Who is it? The whole Logan Paul, Kevin Owens was it? I was like, it was good, but the ending was just so disappointing, bro. I'm yeah, sorry. It really was. I was like, the fact that the referee saw the knuckles, I was like, yeah, 
Yeah, well, I was already disappointed in that, too. I was like, damn. And they end, um, Kevin Owens punches, um... <laughs> yeah, when he... He throws Logan Paul off the ring. He <laughs> takes off the stuff from the, the table, table and throws him in. Him. Boom. And then, it's funny because Logan's trying to get the tissues out of the tissue thing. And that was freaking funny. To clean up the blood that he had. And, um, Kevin Owens is like, they oh, thought he was coming back for more to be him up, but no, he he got a cough drop. He was like, oh, he's just coming to get a cough drop. <laughs> he was like, it's bad, bro. And he chewed that cough drop too. It wasn't like he didn't suck on it. He chewed on it. He was like, he's all pissed. He's he has a cough drop. He walks away. And that that was funny because they thought he was gonna be up Logan Paul even more. Of course, Florida, Florida was all cheering because of that. Of course, it makes sense. And yeah, that's what happened at the United States Championship match. That it was a good match. I liked it. The ending sucked though, but it was great. I liked it. I mean, there was vengeance in the end, so I was oh, happy yeah. about that. Oh, there was good vengeance. In yeah, the end. for sure, for sure. Our next match, yes, guys, this was a four match, four matches at a Royal Rumble. Yep. I think one of the, I might be wrong. There might be other match. I think there might be like no. I think I think they always did four matches at a Royal Rumble. I might be mistaken. Oh no. I might be mistaken, but I think it made sense because they didn't want to like have it out so long. So the men's Royal Rumble. Oh yeah. One of the greatest Royal Rumbles, I gotta say. We got Drew McIntyre. We got the Judgment Day. All Truth. Oh yeah, we forgot about the, when All Truth ran into for the women's. And then when he ran into the women's, that was the man. Yeah, and he's like, whoa. He's like, where's the men? Yeah. And then all the girls were like, wait, what? And they're like. Adam Pierce comes out and he's like, Nia Jax throws him off, and he's like, "Wait, what happened?" And Adam Pierce was like, "He's like, this is the women's Royal Rumble." This oh, did he just? Who did he distract? There was somebody um, on the outside. Um, Vacary. Yeah. Her name is Vacary. And she was pissed. She was mad. Yeah, because she was so. She was tough. about to jump in, and then, and then they she got her out, and then she was about to attack Archie. He was like, "Well, I didn't know." He was like, "I didn't know." I thought this was the men's. It was funny because they're on. That's they're on in the match, but um, our so number one and number two was the Usos brothers, brotherly rivalry. You got the Bloodline versus Jay Uso. Blue versus red. I like you're telling me about that. Yeah. We're, we're not gonna we're not gonna say the names or anything or but we're, we're just gonna if it's you know, ironic you know. though. It's ironic, you know if you know. But it was crazy, bro. Like I that should have been a WrestleMania match right there. I hope one day because I know Jay and Jimmy said one of these days they wanna do a WrestleMania match with each other. And I hope I think they teased it a little bit with them. You know, Jay wants to win so he can be a main event at WrestleMania. Jimmy wants to win so no one can versus Roman Reigns for the belt. Perfect match. Perf perfect. It was perfect. I loved Dude. it. They were fighting hardcore. Yeah. He, no, nah, he, he came back. He's like, not eat. Not eat. And then kick some. Punches. Nah, stop, bro. I was like, damn, They were going bro. at each other hardcore. Hardcore. Bro. Um, number three was G Grayson Waller. He comes out with the mic. He's like, he's like, he, oh my god! I wanted him to shut the hell up, man. Yeah. He's like, he's I, like, I'm the host of Grayson Waller. Effect. Nobody cares about no brotherly rivalry. It's all about me. I'm gonna win this room. I was like, get him the hell out of here, and dude. And then Jay kicks him in the face. Like he hasn't entered the ring yet. But I run that here. He already gone. No, he hasn't. Guys, let's let you know. He has to. Ha have both feet inside the ring to get out. So everyone was all happy. I was like, no, he, he didn't really enter the match yet. Until he, until like, I guess Jay, Jimmy hits him with the kick. No, Grosser Waller jumps in, does his move, hit, hits um, Jay with it. Then Jimmy gets, he, Gross, Grayson picks up um, Jimmy. He's like, oh, he's like, oh, I respect you. I, I'm, he's like, he's doing the, the one. He's like, I, I, I have knowledge, I have knowledge. <laughs> Being stupid. Like, I know. Stupid. Grayson Waller is... He's dumb, bro. Yeah, I'm not a fan, bro. I'm not a fan. I'll go for more for uh, Jay Uso than... Jay, Jay, Jay was great, bro. That's a pretty good... That's a pretty good on that, on the Royal Rumble. And then number four was the return of Andrade. Yeah. Charlie Ferris husband. Sorry, I have to put it that way, but yeah. Yeah, it's still, it's still... You gotta... You gotta, uh, you gotta do what you gotta admire do. Admire it. I mean, not only that was it... Dude, that skull mask with the gold with the crown. crown? Yeah. yeah. There's a video on TikTok of um the guy making it. 
the guy who legit made it, he made a TikTok video the other day. Let's go. He actually used um baseball mitts. Oh shit. Yeah, he used baseball mitts and then spray paint it with the letter spray print wow. for the letter. Yeah, it, it looks bad. It looks cool. impressive. I gotta send me that video. It looks really cool. I liked it, so it was really cool. But yeah, um, but it looked badass, right? The that outfit and everything look cool. I love that Audrey came fights. Then we got um Sax Sax. Tolls Escobar. Escobar. I'm just gonna call him Escobar because I always mess up. It says a lot for about me. I'm Hispanic and I sure be annoying to say these names. <laughs> Santos Escobar. I always say Escobar. I always think of Zach and Cody for some reason. I don't know because of the last name. I don't know. It's called Esteban? Yeah, Esteban. But I it's said Escobar. Escobar. It's Escobar, not Esteban. I keep saying Esteban. And I know people were like, was. Shitting on me on the DM saying, hey, he said it wrong. He's not from Zach and Cody. I was like, I know, I know he's not from Zach and Cody. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, the last thing just gets to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, being up everyone, seeing Andrade, the, trying to do what their fathers used to do because they used to be at Fashion in Mexico. Yes, and Andrade would just went like, he swiped it, made Escobar mad. Yeah, dude. I stopped Escobar a lot. Dude, honestly... He should have done it out of respect, but then again, I mean, if they're not connecting, they're not connecting. No, nah, yeah. I think Andre is going to be a heel, even though Escobar is a heel too, so... So they're both going to be heels. Yeah. But, but they're going to be enemies. They're both going to be enemies against each other. Rumble, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, okay, I guess. I was like, alright, I was like, I get it. Alright, yeah, it, everyone was doing pretty good. Um, Gunther was there, throwing everyone out. Um, who else? Uh, Dominic throwing out people too. Dominic was like Dominic did pretty good on the Royal Rumble. He didn't he lasted, he lasted forever. pretty long. I think he was like the main five. Yes. Like, he was like, like the main no main six. It was six of them. Cause that's when he um, lasted forever, dude. Even when Omos got in. Yeah, he oh, was still in. Man. He was still in. Man. Even when Omos got in later on, yeah. I was like, how did Omos not throw him off? For real, bro. I was like, I was really surprised about that. Yeah, and then we got Braun Breaker. Yeah. NXT, guys. Oh, my God. Braun Breaker was great in this match. I was so impressed what Braun Breaker did. He actually threw Omos. Yeah, he threw Omos. Yeah, if you can believe Braun Breaker throwing a 7'3 giant. He's a tall dude. <laughs> Pat McAfee. He just... <laughs> And, but the thing is, it's like, then again, it makes sense because how tall Omos is. Yeah. As soon as he's over, even though he's holding the rope and trying to stay in, mm -hmm. his feet touch the ground. Yeah. So he was out. Yeah, for sure. Pat McAfee, when he was number, I think it was like number 20. He was like, he was looking at, he's like, he saw Omos, he's like, nah, nah. And he's yeah. like, goes back, he's like, maybe, nah, I'll go back. He's like, nah, I'm good. Nah, nah, I just, he's like, I just qualify myself, I just qualify myself. Like, he was like, forget this. <laughs> I like how Cole's like, hey, my record's still there. Because never Cole was in Royal Rumble. Michael yeah. Cole was in Royal Rumble. Yeah. They throw him out quickly. And Michael Cole's like, oh, my record's still there. I was like, Michael Cole, I don't think you should really be happy that your record's still there for being thrown out in less time. I think he got, I think he only stayed for like two seconds. It's, it's like nobody's proud of that. No, oh, Michael Cole, shut up, sit down. Always oh, proud of that. Always <laughs> proud of that. I was like, good for you, man. I was like, good, <laughs> good, good, for, good for you. My good, um, Pat McAfee's like, no, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> it was funny. I loved it. But um, the reason, reason, the real reason why Pat McAfee didn't know he was gonna be in the Royal Rumble, because he replaced um Brock Lesnar. We're not gonna talk about that allegations. We're not gonna talk about none of that stuff. You know, we're gonna do that in a separate video once we get the full. Story story out. I think we're gonna wait till when the court day happens. Yeah, and if they mention Brock Lesnar, then we're gonna talk about it. But for now, we're not gonna talk about that. I think that's why Braun, Bre Braun Breaker was always gonna be a Royal Rumble. He was just gonna do the Brock Lesnar moves, he was just gonna throw everyone out, throw Omos out, and stuff like that. He was just gonna do that stuff. He lasted pretty long. He lasted, yeah, Braun Breaker actually lasted pretty long. I was happy about that. Um. I think this is Braun Breaker's main event, like, um, debut, WWE main, like, main debut for that. Um, he's going to fight an NXT Ver um, Vengeance Day with, um, it's going to be tight, it's going to be for the Dusty Cup, yeah. for the tight team Dusty Belt with his tight partner, Barry Corbin. 
I think that's going to be his last NXT day, and then he's going to go to WWE. I see Braun Breaker as that um, main eventer. He oh, okay. he has the look. He has that look. He has everything mm-hmm. down. He's good. He's yeah, good. He's man. redeemed himself basically. Yeah. And he then, did great. And we had what is it? We had Cody oh. Rose comes out. Yeah, he was what number fifteen. Fifteen. Number he was 15. number fifteen. Fun fact: John Cena was number. Fun fact: John Cena was number fifteen when he won the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Randy Orton was number fifteen when he won the Royal Rumble. Lucky number. Undertaker won the won the Royal Rumble. Yes, number fifteen. Fit. So if you're number fifteen, if you're number fifteen or number if you're number fifteen or number thirty, you're gonna win the Royal Rumble. That's how it goes. It's between those two, basically. Between those two numbers. That's how it goes. Um. Sorry, we're skipping over ahead. I know you're. I know you're gonna talk about the odd truth thing. Yeah. Like, aren't you funny, cons? But he thinks it's a tag team match. That was <laughs> okay. Aren't you with his jokes? I'm like, I like, I know, aren't you? That, 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 that where, he, where, he, where Dominic, he's he's trying to tag team Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> Good has and him Dominic, the chokehold. And then Dominic Mysterio was like, okay, I tag you, I tag you, I tag you. Archer was like, come on, let's go. He's all clapping. He's like, come on, let's go. He and tags, the dick tags him. You can he jumps. Him. He tries to do John Cena's on You Can't See Me movie. He's like, boom. He didn't get it at first, and then he finally got Boom. Boom. You Can't See Me. Zayn comes out. Number 30. Destroy, tries to beat up Drew McIntyre. Everyone's like, everyone's trying to get Sammy away from Drew. But he's like hitting everyone. Bah, bah, bah. And then, and, and then. Drew McIntyre throws Sami Zayn out. Yeah. And then we got our four. Drew McIntyre, Cody Rhodes, and CM Punk. Yep. Drew tried his best to throw out CM Punk, but that did not happen at all. Instead, CM Punk throws out Drew McIntyre. And then we finally got our two two guys. Who's going to make a very resume? Is it going to be... The man who waited 10 years, or would it be the American Nightmare, whose dream is to finish the story at WrestleMania? That was a great match. It went hardcore. Everything was on the line. Everything was on the line. There were slaps. There was hits. There was Cody Cutters. There was... There was bulldogs everywhere, bro. It was crazy. And Mr. Dark White, you also threw, brought in something. You pointed out something. The all right here, even though it's covered, uh, CM Punk's covered in tattoos on his yeah. chest. You said he ripped. Basically, it looked like he ripped his pectoral muscle. Yeah, he ripped. Yeah, he ripped it. I think when um, Drew did the claymore. Yeah. It hit his chest. Boom, hard. He hit him hard too. You could tell how hard he hit because he flipped, and the refs are trying to make sure he's okay and everything. But no, bro. When he gets up, now everyone can see it because he's all red. But if you see his chest, it's mainly purple. The whole thing, it's like his, I think it's his right that messed up because even his arm broke, even his arm messed up too. So that whole thing was like, CM Punk looked like he was like struggling in that match, bro. You can see how heavy he's like breathing. He's like, oh my God, he's like exhausted. He did the pedigree, like that's how exhausted he was, bro. He did the pedigree and everyone knows that CM Punk would never do something like that if he was serious about it. Even he said, he was like, yeah, I can believe I did that shit, too. He's there, he's like, he's there, like, mocking it. Like, see, like, how CM Punk is in this heel mode. He's like, yeah, I can't believe I did that shit, too. He's like, I'm right, ready to pull him to sleep. And he tries to do it the first time, but Cody Rhodes gumps out, does the crossroads on him the first time, first crossroads. Tries to throw him out. Nope, CM Punk gets him back. Tries to do it the second time. Nope, Cody was trying to do the crossroad. Nope. CM Punk hits him in the head. Throws him back. It's all all together. It's not trying to throw Cody out the ring. Yeah, he held on. He actually the when he when uh when CM Punk was trying to throw Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes match grab he was match grabbed the top rope and kind of slide his yeah. body back onto, onto the ring it. and slide back in under the, the bottom rope. Did the dusty punch? Bah, yep. Bah, bah. Elbow. Boom. Cody cutter. Cody cutter one more time. And then nope. CM Punk did the GTS, boom, hits him with the GTS. They're both on the floor now because CM Punk is like out of breath. Like you could tell how bad out of breath he was. If you could tell it. And he's like, nah, nah, he was gonna, he was gonna get up, he was gonna do it. He gets up and he says, he gets Cody Rhodes and he's like, I didn't wait 10 years to get beaten by Dusty's kid. 
Oh, and that got that, Cody Rhodes going. Yeah. That got the American Nightmare going. Pissed off. Because he was about to throw him. And Cody, he was, and then Cody grabs him. Grabs him by the foot. And, and freaking throws him out. And Cody Rhodes is your two-time Royal Rumble back-to-back winner. And he did it. He beat it. Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's been a long time since someone was back to back Royal Rumbles. The last time was Steve Austin. Everyone was sharing. Everyone was jumping out of their seats. I was jumping off of my seat when I first saw it. I was like, I was singing the I song. I was ecstatic, man. Bash was all excited. We were all excited. We were like, yes. And then everyone's cheering. He's pointing at the sign. Roman Reigns is all pissed. He's like, he's pointing at Roman Reigns. He's, he's like, like, I'm coming for you. He's like, Roman's like, he's like, no. He's like, and then we all know what's going to happen. It's Cody Rhodes versus the Tribal Chief, yes. Roman Reigns, Part oh, Two yeah. at WrestleMania, Philly of all places. It's like saying Rocky won Rocky lost and he came back to win. I think that's the storyline they're gonna go for when Rocky lost and comes back to re to do his rematch and finally wins the belt. I think that's the story they're gonna go for and I loved it. It was great. It was exciting. I was so glad that Cody Rhodes won the Royal Rumble. We, what's your final Dude, thoughts you about know Royal it, Rumble? You know it. You know that I, the shirt. You know that I was excited because I jumped up and clapped my hands. It was amazing. That he freaking won, and I high fived uh, Mr. Darklight here. I was like, was he amazing. got it. He did it. Cause you know what? What I felt was Cody Rhodes was basically wearing down CM Punk. He kept wearing him down. Mm-hmm. Kept coming back with Cody Cutter. Kept wearing him down more, 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 more. I figure at this point at the end it was basically it, it was the age over everything because Cody, uh, was Cody Rhodes is a lot younger. Mm-hmm. I thought at that point I was like CM Punk already looked tired out and then on top of that when CM Punk said I'm not going to what Mr. Darklight said right here was I'm not going to get uh, beaten by Dusty Rhodes kid. Yeah. And and that's the one thing that hit a nerve. Hey, right? hit a nerve on him. Bro. A, he, he snapped. He hit the he hit the nail with the hammer right there. And he snapped and he threw him out. And I was happy. You know what? I'm glad. You know what? I'm kind of glad CM Punk said it because you know what? Yeah. If CM Punk didn't say it, but at the same time, was it would have taken longer. But when CM Punk, as soon as he said that, oh, it was over, man. Yeah. I feel like we got that that heel CM Punk again. I felt it. I felt oh, it. Yeah. I felt it. I, it made my blood boil, like how Cody Rose were boiling. But it was a great match. It was amazing. It was awesome. Look at me, I'm saying it like this. It's awesome. <laughs> but it was great. I loved it. I want to say this is probably one of the good Royal Rumbles that we had this so was far. really good. This it was one really of my good. favorites, man. This is probably my second. My first one was probably Cody Rhodes winning it the first time. That was amazing. But, yeah. This is, there you are, one year talking about the Royal Rumble. Yeah. It's crazy, right? How we started our podcast this way. And now, full circle once again. Yep. But Cody Rhodes winning that yeah. Royal Rumble. Yes. And now winning the second time in our anniversary podcast. This is there you are, anniversary podcast. So you're right here. Yep. This is there you are, year one of the podcast. And yes, this is going to be counted as a podcast. But we want to thank everyone who's been watching us. We want to thank everyone. Please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Let us know who you were rooting for. I know we're kind of late for the Royal Rumbles. Bash wasn't feeling well. Um, we have to reschedule, but it's fine. Um, we will get back to our regular schedules again. Uh, we will be doing NXT Vengeance on Vengeance Day. We'll be doing that. We will be doing our Ghost Adventuring once again. We're bringing Ghost Adventuring back. We're not gonna say yet. We're not we're, saying yet, but we're not saying we're not saying where. You know what? I'm not saying where, but y'all are gonna enjoy it for our next two Ghost Adventures two. Ghost Adventures back to back. Coming soon, guys. It's coming soon. But if you guys like these kind of videos, let us know. If they give us a like, give us a share. Like subscribe. subscribe. Yes, yeah, subscribe. Hit that bell to let you guys know when we do another videos. Now we do we do videos Monday through Friday, Monday and Friday, Monday and Friday. So you guys know it, you know it. But like I said, I'm Mr. Dark Light. I'm Bash of Bash and Brains, and we are Beards and Bellies. Yep, and we see you guys next time. Thank you guys.